When Julian Cole transferred to Richmond last summer, he told head basketball coach Donald Pettigrew that he wanted to set the new program record for the most three-pointers in a game. Less than a year later, and on the biggest stage to date, Cole did just that. The journey toward a 4A state championship started off in a big way for the number two Richmond Raiders on Tuesday, who was using a running clock to defeat number 31 Pernell Sweep, 96-57 in the first round. Cole was hot from downtown all night, scoring a career-high 38 points. In the process, he netted 10 three-pointers, setting the new single-game program record by one triple. With 20 seconds left in the third quarter, Cole hit his final three-ball on a dish from junior Jamarian Wall in front of Richmond's bench. Finishing the game 13 of 21 shooting, Cole surpassed his previous career high of 35 points set earlier this season. He added six assists and three steals. As a team, the Raiders splashed down a season-high 17 three-pointers, which were the most in a game since hitting the same number against Terrell Orange. From the field, Richmond shot 52%. The number two Raiders will host number 15 Sanderson in the second round on Thursday. The Spartans defeated number 18 Chapel Hill 53-48 in the first round, overcoming a halftime deficit. Sophomore Jamil Lindsay and senior Zion Baldwin have been named the official Richmond County Athletes of the Week presented by Highly 55. Playing just her fourth game of the season, Lindsay led the number four Lady Raiders in scoring against number five Lee County. Despite falling to the Lady Yellow Jackets and seeing the team's season end, this is Lindsay's fourth career recognition. Going 2-0 in last week's conference tournament, Richmond defeated Hope County and then Scotland to retain its crown. Over the weekend, the Raiders earned the number two playoff seed in the 4A East. Baldwin, who is a three-year varsity player, was a presence on offense and defense for Richmond, leading to his second career selection. Tips on criminal activity to law enforcement have increased since a new mobile app went into operation last May. That's according to Rockingham Police Chief George Gillenwater in his annual report to the City Council. RPD partnered with Richmond County Crime Stoppers and the Richmond County Sheriff's Office in 2022 to purchase the P3 Tips app developed by Texas-based Anderson Software. Gillen Water said the app has been extremely helpful in solving crime. He added that the amount of tips that the department has received in one year have tripled since 2021 and the amount of tips leading to arrest has quadrupled. Gilwater, who is the administrator for the RPD side, said he receives an average of three to four texts a night from the app. The chief said emergency management director Bob Smith told him that tips rarely come through the 911 center anymore as about 95% come through the app. All the tips are anonymous and tipsters are assigned a number to use when collecting award money. When we return, we've got your Live at 5 weather report. It's coming up after the break, so stay tuned. Hometown heroes? Well, maybe. When it comes to backyard comfort and no pesky mosquitoes, call Brown Termite and Pest Control at 910-895-6410 or 910-276-8870. Their team of superheroes can take back control of your paradise. That's 910-895-6410 today. McNair Auto Sales is the place to buy your pre-owned car, truck, or van. To be the best, it takes big selection friendly staff, and great pricing. We guarantee a no-hassle buying experience and financing is available right on site. So come see us today. We're located at 1026 East Broad Avenue in Rockingham. And remember, with over 40 years of experience, you know McNair is the name you can trust. At Richmond County Hospice, we strive to provide high quality care to our patients and their families. Whether it's the incredible hospitality at the Haven House or from the comfort of your own home, you can count on hospice to be there for you. We also offer monthly grief support groups and our chaplain will be there to hold your hand in prayer. Through our amazing staff and our volunteers, hospice has made difficult times easier for our community. Call the number on your screen if you feel that you or your loved one may benefit from our services. Richmond County Hospice, peace, comfort, dignity. And welcome to you live by Weatherport Channel. Hope your Wednesday is going well today. Another nice day here in the Sandhills. Can't complain about it. 
uh, as I've said plenty of times this week now, I wish we could keep this weather all year round. And uh, tomorrow is going to be a big day for that 80 degree weather. And uh, I personally can't wait for that. I think I'm going to take that day to wash off my car of any of the dust and dirt that's been around for the past couple of weeks. So I'm going to deal with that tomorrow. Hopefully we'll get around to it depending on uh, how things go. But that's what I'm looking forward to doing the most. And uh, hey, today's been pretty cloudy. Tonight we're going to continue to see that as we look at the hourly forecast. Tonight, next hour, 73 degrees. It will trend downwards to about 67 at 11 o'clock. We'll have a sunset tonight at 6.08 p.m. And there'll be a waxing crescent moon phase out tonight as well. Take a look at the forecast for tomorrow. Again, 80 degree weather tomorrow. Lovely, lovely weather to be outside and doing some cool stuff. Carolina County, a high of 80, low of 64. Hope County, a high of 81, low of 63. Robeson and Scotland County will be seeing a high of 81 and a low of 64. Uh, Moore County, Richmond, as well as Marble Counties will be seeing a high of 80 and a low of 64. And across PD and Anson County, a high of 80 and a low of 65. Now tomorrow is also going to be like today. We're seeing a lot of cloudy skies uh, that will be playing into tomorrow. So again, Thursday, a high of 80, low of 64. Friday, we do have a slight chance of rain, 40%, high of 72, low of 53. Temperatures will drop down pretty significantly on Saturday with a 70% chance of rain, high of 56, low of 47. Temperatures will go back up again on Sunday with cloudy skies, a high of 67 and a low of 47, followed by Monday with a high of 72 and a low of 52. Sunny skies are set for Tuesday with a high of 71 and a low of 49, and then Wednesday, party cloudy skies with a high of 63 and a low of 41. And that is going to do it for your live five weather report and for tonight's decision on live at five. For the latest news, sports, and events happening in Richmond County, you can always visit richmondobserver.com or download the free R app for your mobile devices. For the live five crew, I'm Russell Parker. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow. Good night, Richmond County.